recap from the last episode as Spear and Fang fought those crazy gorillas and ape men and uh, basically Fang was beaten to her her death death heard something. Goes in real close. He did hear something. Super happy. Looks around. Sees some pouches hanging. Kind of investigates. Water. It's good. Takes it off. Vultures land, pecking away. <laughs> Digging his head in, and it comes out it's covered with blood. He runs by. Runs back to Fang. Close, 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 close. Slowly opens her mouth and <laughs> drinks. It's good. <clears throat> Little grunt of signs. She looks. He looks at her eye. Slowly opens. She is alive. He's happy. Puts his head on her. Pour some more water. Notices it's good blood and all this scars and stuff and rips from all the big fight. Pours the water in the ground. <laughs> Makes mud. Grabs two balls of mud. Starts rubbing. <laughs> A little painful. <laughs> And she kind of closes her eye like she's going to take it. And then he kind of rubs some more. Some more vultures land. Come up. Deep in blood. Gets more mud. Starts covering up the wounds more. We start doing dissolve. The music probably comes in at this point. Boom, boom, boom. As he's covering all the scars. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Looks back, sees some uh, the rope that they were tied with, the vine. Starts picking all the leaves out. Taking all the leaves, grabs them all. All of a sudden, he sees all the vultures are on the fang. He's like, grabs one, throws it away. Puts the flowers in the wound, or puts the leaves in the wounds. Puts the wounds and covers him as he's carefully watching more and more of them gather. And this one lands. Mm, it's unsettling. They look at each other, he realizes they gotta get out of here. He starts to lift her up. <coughs> Tries her body. looking around and he's back to where the water was and we truck in and there's all this uh, bamboo gets an idea Whew. looks at the rope <clears throat> comes in brings the rope down and then <laughs> scares them all <laughs> now leave runs up topples it over starts picking up the sticks and then he sees uh, a piece of the spear, and he's happy. 
Wah! It lands on uh, on Fang. He runs in, throws the wood at her. Throw the vulture runs away, flies away. A spear yells at him. The sun is shining more and more. She's enjoying the warmth. He's putting more water. Feet constantly caring for her. She drinks it. He starts faking his spear again. <laughs> He'll be ready for them. And then. Starts digging a pit on one side of her. Starts placing the bamboo and tying it, wrapping it. Fighting over a monkey's hand. <clears throat> Unsettling. <laughs> Finished. So he built like an Indian, I forgot what it's called, but it's like an Indian gurney type of a thing. More and more <laughs> vultures are around. He comes in. <laughs> Toes dig into the dirt. <laughs> Very little movement. <laughs> She's like, what's happening? <laughs> oh, she making some movement. <laughs> She's moving. She falls on the gurney. He comes around. Painful grunt from her. He's like, oh, that, uh, it'll be all right. And then, getting a little closer, takes the spear. They got to get out of here. Gets the water container and the spear. He comes in, grabs the gurney. Slowly. She's super heavy. It's finally getting able to get her out. <clears throat> Commercial. You see the distance, all the vultures still eating all the monkey carcasses. Super heavy. Sweating like crazy. Sun. Finally, too much. It slips out. Little painful sound. He's like rubbing his hands, and then he looks, and he's like, "Oh, right." And he comes in with his hand, and they're all we see they're all chapped and calloused. And then he pours the water, and he slowly, gently feeds his friend. Oh, little soft sound. And then uh, picks it up again. Nice dissolve. A babbling brook brings in the water jug. All filled up. Takes it out. Comes into his fang. 
pours the water into his hand and into her mouth. It's <laughs> concerned for her. He looks and he sees the sun's coming down, nightfall. Not usually good in this world. And then he looks over there and there's something. Focuses. And it's a little like a wild African type dog, like a primordial dog, we'll call it. And it's just sitting there watching another predator. Mm, the sun's going down. He knows what it means. Starts gathering sticks. <laughs> Puts a pile of sticks down. Start dissolving as he's building a perimeter of fire. Now it's not damp. in the forest just hear the flames burning he looks in there the glowing eyes of the dog primordial dog and there's another one in the distance they're keeping their distance because of the fire he sits down right next to fang and just waits waits to get through the night and we pan over and we see the dog also waiting for an opportunity fire little ambers into the moon we dissolve into day he fell asleep oh. all the fires are wore out he looks back at fang he looks around no sign of the dogs comes back to her she kind of wakes up a little. Brings mm -hmm. the water. Water jug, spear. Time to go again. Ugh, fuck, it's going to be painful. Mm. Gets an idea. They're on the move again. And then he's built himself a little harness out of the vines, and now he doesn't have to hurt his hands anymore. Dissolve. Uh oh, doctor back. Following him, keeping their distance, but definitely tracking his every move. He goes deeper into the forest. Still following. Sun settling, night time's calling, coming. It's not good again, the shadows are long. But the feet of the dogs are still following. How's he gonna get through the night? Then he spots it, shelter, a little makeshift cave type of thing. Satisfied with the idea, he pushes her in through the shadow of the trees and into the cave. The dogs approach. <laughs> Scares him away. Comes back in, puts his hand on his fang. Okay, friend. He had a little sunlight coming through holes in the uh, in the little makeshift shelter. He looks, he sees this little slit. Hmm. Starts to climb in. 
comes up in the daylight, comes up, and now we see the surrounding. He's on top. There's a little entryway. Uh oh, three of them. Back to the fire, nighttime, fires all around, just like before. And we cut inside, he's just guarding his friend. Looking out into the night, we see the three sets of eyes. On Fang. She's sleeping. He finally goes to sleep. There's a smoke wafts its way out through that little crack and up into the moon. Sleeping. The little insect comes in, he kind of brushes it off. Another one brushes it off. Another two brushes him off. Another one. This one he grabs and he's like, what the hell is it? And this little primordial uh, bug. And he looks down and he's covered with them. <laughs> Sees hundreds of them now, these big ones too, with these spikes on their back. And he pans over and they're eating fang. Of course, more predators. He runs in, throws them off. And he sees one on his back and he grabs it and he throws it. Super painful. He looks and he's super sh cut deep by these uh, bugs. Oh, he's pissed off. And he comes in, oh, spear. But it's almost like they're like uh, super hard shell. You can't penetrate it with the spear. It hisses. And he's like, what the hell? And then he gets real mad and then he just flips it over and we see it's uh, revealed its, uh, its uh, exposed side. And he <laughs> kills it. And the blood comes out. <clears throat> And we see uh, Fang covered again. He comes in more. And now they're coming up and he starts swinging the spear at him. And he brings him up in the air and he starts flipping him upside down and stabbing him. Cutting him in the air. <laughs> Little uh, insect scream. He's like, fuck you. And stabs it. Blood comes out. You notice and she's just sleeping. Oh, oh, she lifted up her head. Mm, she's getting better. He starts to roast one a little bit. And gives it to her. Takes another one, like a little insect kebab. <laughs> Roasted or marshmallow. And we kind of fade away. Fade back in. The sun's coming up. Another day. Gives her water. Oh, out of water. Yep. Kind of gestures for her to stay here, of course. He's going to get water. Walks away. Whoa. Goes a little growl. He comes out. <clears throat> Looks around. Huh. No dogs. <clears throat> it's okay. Can't smell them. Starts to walk off. <clears throat> She's resting. run away as um, Spears uh, Lance gets one right in the head and she gets uh, startled by it and now we see blood coming out of the dog and in the distance he saw what's happening and he's coming back just in time and he's like hey food and water another fire and now they've got good dog meat and the carcass is hanging upside down and he gives her some raw 
and she's not eating. Now it's the next night, another perimeter, more dogs now as we fade out. Come back in the next day, more water. Oh, she's out again. She looks out and he comes out again, but this time he's not gonna leave her alone. He starts stacking rocks. Every entryway. He starts blocking. Comes down satisfied. Looks and there's two dogs are there. More dogs have gathered. Scares him all the way and walks off. She hears it all and just kind of settles to heal, dissolve. Uh oh, someone's passing above. Some dog noises. Seems like they're all over the place. Look down. No passing. And all of a sudden, we hear Fang's voice, uh, Spear's voice. Oh! A huge fight is happening upstairs. <laughs> Weird barking, fighting. Then <laughs> all of a sudden, we come up. And it's all around him and all the fighting is still continuing. It's like, what's happening? And then finally, uh, Spirit kicks a rock in and he slides down, lands, and he stands up and he's covered in scratches. He was obviously fighting all the dogs outside and he's completely kind of beat up. And she's like, Rawr! she sees her friend in trouble and she tries to stand up and her leg is still kind of broken and hurting her and she tries to take a step and it's kind of trembling and he's shaking and the spear watches this happening and he's like he can't handle it oh oh kind of tells her to stop and she's like and he kind of settles her down she doesn't like it and he's like mm. Now he's looking around, what's he gonna do? And he looks down and he sees the spiky bugs. Hmm, <clears throat> gets an idea. And he comes in and just puts his fist around the legs and makes like these insect spiky bare knuckles <laughs> or punching gloves. And he grabs them and he stands up again and he's like, yeah, this'll do. And we rack focus. And she's concerned as we truck in. He comes out of that little hole, starts to climb up, and he comes out, and now we see what he's facing. Hundreds and hundreds of these wild, primordial dogs. They're all snarling and barking. Slowly approaching him. He's ready. They start attacking. Takes it out. Like a whole heap of them coming in. He's just going through like an assembly line. More rush. Then he just jumps into the pile. And all of a sudden, he's overtaken by the dogs. We hear him scream. And all of a sudden, here comes Fang. She can't face letting her, her friend. 
take this all on. She bursts out. All the dogs start running. And she's limping away. Snapping at the dogs. Finally, she gets one and just brings it up and bites it in half. Rah, rah, rah. Dogs barking. He gets stepped on. Some dogs are starting to run away. She whips him with the tail up. Whips him more around. And whips him off uh, spear. He gets up and he sees her fighting away on a limp and biting the dogs and killing him. A triumphant yell from spear. Now they're in tandem fighting these all these dogs. Now the dogs are retreating. <laughs> Bites one and a half. He finishes punching one as he hears Fang roar. 